What's going on? It's facts you don't know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more well informed. Make sure to subscribe and active the notifications bell so you don't miss anything. It happened in Spain in the 1990s. A girl named Camilla arrived at a bar in Madrid. When she asked for a drink, met a young man who was working there. The young man was called Alejandro. Camilla liked him immediately. He was handsome and sociable, and he was one of the best bartenders in the city. Alejandro was the first to talk to her, but there was something Camilla couldn't know about him. He liked to change women very often. He lied and cunning Camilla. A kind and honest girl soon fell in love with him. She'd never had a boy before and did not go for a walk in the afternoon. He came to that bar not because he liked those places where he was there, because her friends invited her there. But she did not come, so Camilla was alone and decided to take some juice. Alejandro liked Camilla and decided to seduce her. They started dating together and he took her to several places and even tried to give her a drink, but she didn't know that Camilla didn't drink alcohol and that she was very religious, so it was difficult for him to seduce her. A few months later, he asked the girl if she would spend the night with him, but Camilla refused to say that she wasn't ready for this, only after her wedding. The man was almost angry, but soon he calmed down and he responded, Well, let's get married. I love you. Why wait at the time? Camilla thought he was the best boy in the world, agreed to marry him immediately. The couple chose the date of the wedding. While Camilla and her relatives were preparing the wedding, none of the relatives appeared. It was strange when they asked the man about this. He said that his family lived in a town and that they had neither time nor money to come. They all believed him and even felt sorry for the guy, but he was lying. I don't care if it happens after our wedding or before. I love you and I want to give you what you want. I believe you, Alejandro, was very surprised when he did not miss the opportunity and finally got what he wanted. Camilla was happy like never before in her life, and she would never forget this special day that Alejandro and Camilla spent the night together. The girl waited for a wedding and made plans for her life, but the next day everything changed in the morning. Camilla and her parents went to the most important event of their life. They arrived at the church where the girl shone in her beauty and happiness in front of the guests. The ceremony was about to begin, but the groom did not come suddenly. A friend of Alejandro appeared at the ceremony and said that he would not come and that he changed his mind. It was clear that Alejandro left her. Camilla ran out of the church and she was running down the street. Suddenly, she saw something worse. She saw Alejandro in the distance. When she approached him, she realized that he was not alone. He was kissing another, and Camilla was surprised to not know what to do. She even thought about committing suicide, but her friends and family were always with her to overcome depression, despair, and disappointment in love. Years ago, Camilla fell in love again and even married another man who loves her and respects her a lot now. Her life is full of happiness and joy. But what happened with Alejandro was not all good with him. And for what she shared, this history has been going on for more than 20 years since he left Camilla at the altar. She decided to tell everyone, of course, she left me that day. I was looking for another girlfriend, but nobody here wanted to date me. Everyone seemed to know this. The story that my friends also left me, the owner of the bar turned out to be Camilla's father's cousin, fired me that day. I tried to find a new job, but nobody wanted to deal with me. I finally found a job, but it wasn't like that in this place. I wanted, I was looking for Camilla to ask her to forgive me. I was thinking about Camilla, but I was also trying to find a girl who looked like her, but I had no luck when I met Camilla again. I remember that on the day of the wedding, I left her and I wanted to change everything, but it was impossible. I remembered our appointments, her smile, and her way she looked at me with love. I was thinking about our first meeting at the bar and on our first night, I understood that I was losing it now forever. Sometimes I see Camilla and her husband and her beautiful children and I tell myself that that could have been my home and I could have been the father of her beautiful children now. I'm absolutely alone. I want to love and be loved, but I cannot play with the children feelings of another person. The biggest mistake we can make is what Alejandro did. Of what could happen because of this, now he regrets living alone and yearning. So before hurting another person, think carefully because he can change his life and make him suffer until the end of his days. That's all for now. Share this story with your friends and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.